This is the origin story of the moon. A silent guardian shielding Earth from asteroids. A beacon in the darkest of nights. And a driver of human ambitions to explore outer space. A superhero in its own right. Unlike origin stories of most superheroes, the story of our moon begins with an accident. This story begins 4.5 billion years ago. This was the time when our solar system was in the making. Thanks to gravity, dust, rocks and gases revolving around the sun were slowly fusing to form the very first planets. Our earth had just formed, or rather forming. Let me explain. Earth today is made of three distinct layers. The core in the center, the mantle in the middle, and the outer crust. At the time of this story, these layers were just forming. The high-density iron was sinking to the center, forming the core, while the relatively low-density material was making up the mantle. The crust or the surface was a sea of hot magma. Now this earth was going through something called the early accretion bombardment. A period of continuous bombardment that happened during the accretion or fusion of dust and rocks in the early part of Earth's history. Earth's orbit around the Sun was crowded with these rocks. As a result, Earth was getting hit by these huge rocks which were also revolving around the Sun just like Earth. This period in Earth's history was so chaotic that it is given the name the Hadean Eon which literally translates to hell-like period. This is when a protoplanet named Theia, which was as big as Mars, hit Earth and subsequently fused with it. This collision was so violent that it ejected a large chunk of Earth's crust and mantle into space. This ejected debris came together and coalesced to form the Moon. This is called the Giant Impact Hypothesis. In 1946, Reginald Daly of Harvard University first proposed this moon formation theory in his paper, Origin of the Moon and its Topography. But like most revolutionary theories of the time, it was largely ignored. But this changed in 1969 with one of the most groundbreaking events in the entire human history. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. For the first time in the history of mankind, man set foot on the moon. Through multiple Apollo missions, about 400 kg of lunar rocks were brought back to Earth and stored for various studies. These lunar rocks would come to the aid of Daly's paper by becoming the empirical evidence it required and helping it get the traction it deserved in the scientific community. There are three significant pieces of evidence that support the giant impact hypothesis. In 2001, scientists at Carnegie Institute of Washington unpacked some of these lunar rocks brought by the Apollo missions 30 years earlier and did a comparative study with Earth's mantle rocks. They reported that both these rock samples, the first from the Moon and the second from the Earth's mantle, had identical isotope ratios of certain key elements like oxygen, silicon and titanium. This is peculiar because none of the other bodies in the solar system share this compositional similarity with Earth. Numerous such comparative studies have been done since the latest one in 2024 and every single study corroborates this. This compositional similarity is the cornerstone of giant impact hypothesis. The moon has a relatively small iron core. About 25% of the radius of the moon comprises of the core in contrast to 50% for most other terrestrial bodies. For instance, Mercury has 85% core, 
Venus has 50%, Earth 55% and Mars 50%. This means that majority of the moon comprises of mantle and crust. This supports the hypothesis that moon is largely made of the ejected mantle and crust of Earth. The Earth-Moon system has an anomalously high angular momentum, about 3300 times the angular momentum when compared to Venus, a planet before it, and 31 times the angular momentum when compared to Mars and its moon systems, a planet after it, strongly suggesting that this collision with Theia might have supplied the Earth-Moon system with this extra momentum. In 2023, Scientists built a 3D rendering of Earth by studying the seismic waves and found two massive structures inside the Earth's mantle called Large Low Velocity Provinces or LLVPs for short. The first of this is below the Atlantic Ocean and the second one below the Pacific. These anomalies are compositionally different when compared to the mantle surrounding it. Therefore, the seismic waves travel slowly through these portions, hence the low velocity in LLVP. It is being hypothesized that these two fragments in the Earth's mantle are the remnants of Theia, the protoplanet that hit the Earth 4.5 billion years ago and gave us the moon. As of today, giant impact hypothesis is the leading model for the formation of the moon and is widely accepted among the scientific circles. Although some questions still need answering for this hypothesis to become a theory. I am Sandeep. You are watching The Curious Octopus. Keep asking why.